The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Here for the Eagles Sports Network, I'm Brian White with Carson Newman Tennis graduate coach Gabriel Dabdab as the Eagles prepare to head to Sumter for the 2022 South Atlantic Conference Tennis Championships. Dabdab, you were in this position last year as a player. Now you get to be in this position this year as a coach. You've seen the progression of both these squads this year, Absolutely. making a lot of history. What does it mean for you to be part of this program, make another trip to Sumter and compete in a, amongst the conference best? I mean, Brian, it certainly means a lot. Um, last year I was in it as a player, but last year we knew that like we were not as good as some of the teams in there. This year that's not really a thing anymore. Um, on both sides, and this time I'm also on the girls' side, um, both teams have a real shot at this, and I mean we can do this. It, obviously, it's like it's up to the players, but they know they're good enough to win. And uh, you talk about up to the players, mm -hmm. big time performances you've seen from the guys. A lot of high quality wins, um, both from the freshmen and the upperclassmen. What about this men's team? Um, have you seen progress from being a player to a coach and? Being one of the nation's top 50 for six straight weeks is part of program history. I think it's actually top 35, 33, something like that. But um, there is one thing on this men's tennis scene that I haven't seen it in a very long time. They deal with pressure in a way that I haven't really seen a team doing it in the past. When it gets in a tough moment, when it's a tough point, when it's just a tough match in general, they're able to step it up and and, and play their best tennis. And uh, you've seen the progression of the men's side like you just talked about, but the women's team, once again, top four in the conference, one of the best, pulling off the victory against Queens earlier in the year, go in as a, the number three seed. What can this program do to, like you said, compete with the best and pull out a victory on Thursday and continue their run in Sumter? I mean, honestly, all they have to do is keep it going. They don't really have to change much. I mean, out of the conference um, during regular season, they only lost one doubles point during regular season, which was actually against Anderson, which we played in the first round. But I mean, I have plenty of confidence that they can they can do it. Um, they only had two losses in regular season, one to Queens, or, sorry, one to Wingy. They beat Queens, who was co-champion, and one to Newberry, in which we lost for three, but we lost a match that so we had match points to clinch it for three. Um, so like, they absolutely can do it. And the other loss to Winge was 5-2 in a day that nobody really played their best tennis. Uh, so we're looking forward to beating Anderson in the quarters and beating Winge in the semis if they win and <laughs> moving to the final strong we, we, because we know we can do it. They, they totally know they can do it. And finally, you head to Sumter tomorrow, a day of preparation, day on the road. What do you want to see from you as a coach but the athletes on a day like tomorrow where you're on the road for – four and a half to five hours to get in the right mindset and realize it's not time to hit the ground running and continue doing what you've done all season. But now you win, your season might be over. I mean, we just get as much rest as we can today, tomorrow, get there, hit for a little bit just to feel the, the environment, see what's going to be like. Even though we have been there like more than two, three times, um, but it's 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 just it's just about feeling it, it's feeling the environment, see how it is, and like go in and do what we know what we can do. Basically, it. Um, and I'm glad we're gonna have coverage on the road. There's guys coming with us. Stay tuned. <laughs> More stuff coming. <laughs> All right, stay with us. <laughs> Thanks, Dab Devin. Best of luck to you in the in the programs this weekend. Thank you. We definitely need some luck. For the Eagle Sports Network, I'm Brian White. He's graduate coach Gabriel Dab.